hello so today we are going to see how we can integrate swiggy live data into our application so i will show you the exact code how i am getting the data so this is my local host and this is the actual swiggy api so uh, let's see so let's do the inspect and in the inspect go to the network tab and uh, refresh it okay so when we refresh it like you will see a bunch of uh, other method that i have like uh, use uh, uh, try to filter the api call okay so this is the actual api call so if you see this so you can also like copy this this url okay so if if we see in the url okay so if you see what's in your mind yeah now you can see in the title we have here so similarly if i try to search top restaurant in J top restaurant chain in jaipur okay so if we see my look my local app I, I am also getting the same data so if i change this to jaipur so now now you can see say it is go to the network tab now if we refresh it so if we compare the url it is exactly same okay so so now let's see the code so i in my vs code i have a, like in my body body component what i'm i'm using this use fetch hook so in the this this hook i have created it so let's go into the details before that let's try to understand what it is doing so basically it's try to do the get request to the the swiggy server okay and we are passing the url so the we have the default value of the url which is stored in this uh, in this variable and i have added the default latitude and longitude so if we see the url so this is the same url which we see we see the code what the code is doing so we are just calling this hook passing the url and in this url we have the axios get method so this is the important thing here so using like we can also use fetch and then pass the url but i'm using the axios okay so like you can check the code for this so what i have in the use effect so i'm using a use effect in the use effect whenever the url is changing so whenever the url is changing i am uh, calling this uh, my get get fetch function okay so in the get get fetch data what is it is nothing simply get, calling the swiggy server and setting the data so yeah so, like i will paste the link of this code in the comment section you can go there okay 